And a graphic videotape has landed North Melbourne footballers in trouble. The whole playing list has taken responsibility for the production of the tasteless video which depicts sex acts with frozen chickens. It's been condemned as degrading to women, but the club says the players have committed no crime. This morning there was just one doing the explaining. I believe it's a misguided, foolish, idiotic act. This afternoon, the Kangaroos Collective took the rap for the video Too Chicken to name those directly responsible. We, we certainly didn't mean to disrespect anybody, um, obviously the, the women as well. It was a prank gone wrong. Um, it was meant for our eyes. The video was there for all to see on the internet until last night. Titled The Adventures of Little Boris, it had a plastic chicken simulating sex with another, all to a song called Move Bitch. Part of the video is shot inside club headquarters with a sponsor visible. The carcass is then hurled against a wall, run over by the club van before the final act. Gee whiz, they kill the, the uh, chook and then the, the rooster has sex with it again. It's a bad look. Looking at it now, I take offence to it too. You know, we've got full respect for women. It wasn't meant to turn out like this. Even at a club with links to sexist behaviour, there will be no penalty to pay but players will make a donation to a domestic violence charity. Appalled by the video, the AFL believes the kangaroos have to find those that are truly responsible. Uh, it's insulting, demeaning towards women and it's unacceptable. Leith Mulligan, 7 News. A man accused of being the ringleader in a bashing attack on the father of Melbourne footballer Nathan Jones has been bailed. But 24-year-old Jesse Mallander is facing tough bail conditions. Peter Morris was in court and, Pete, this man is facing some serious charges. My word, he is, Jen, and much to the surprise of all of us, Jesse Mallander was granted bail here at the Melbourne Magistrates Court late this afternoon. The conditions are strict. Uh, they include a curfew, a ban on alcohol and drugs, random alcohol and drug testing, and here's the kicker, a ban from attending any sporting event or any public event. Now, as we know, Brad Jones, the father of uh, Melbourne star forward Nathan Jones, copped a savage beating from several men as he left the MCG on Saturday. Uh, he's accused Mallander of being the ringleader of that attack. Now, the 24-year-old was arrested at the scene and since that time has been behind bars here at the Melbourne Custody Centre. That's an experience he says he won't forget. Uh, down there, the conditions are shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking. So pretty, pretty keen not to get back there. Yeah, pretty keen not to get back there, mate. Very keen. Jesse Mallander and his co-accused back here at the Melbourne Magistrates Court on June the 1st. Jen? Thank you, Pete.